Yes. Uh, what's the application uh, the application process for becoming an astronaut? The application process, first of all, my information is a little dated, but I, but I think I can kind of merge what I the way it used to be with what, the way I think it is now. Uh, starting in the beginning, the astronaut program wanted test pilots because they were testing vehicles and flying was their primary emphasis. As we moved on to Skylab and then uh, the space station, certainly, the, the emphasis is we still need some pilot expertise, but only about a third of the astronaut corps when I left it were, would be military test pilots at that point in time. Everybody else was moving, migrating to be having backgrounds in science and technology and operations, uh, a very high degree of civil participation as opposed to military. And I think those trends are only going to continue as we go forward for the next phase, which is going to emphasize space station and utilization for uh, doing experiments. There will always, always be a need for a blend of all those talents. So what I tell kids who ask, how can I become an astronaut, I tell them, first and foremost, focus on what it is that you really like to do. It needs to be something in operations or engineering or science. Uh, but that is such a broad spectrum, and within that broad spectrum, pick up the areas that you're really interested in and focus on those as you go to get your advanced degrees, and then go do something with that degree. Go do some research, go work for a company like Dynetics that is actually uh, providing solutions, and, and, and develop an outstanding work record, or do some outstanding research in academia, and then turn your application. And if your focus has been on the science area, that, that application needs to show that, but it also needs to show a little bit of operational expertise. Go learn how to fly an airplane. Go get a scuba license. Go do those kinds of things that show that you can apply your knowledge in an operationally demanding environment. And nowadays, I tell people, go learn Russian also, because there's, <laughs> the Russians are on the critical path with respect to us flying to and from for the foreseeable future and they are a valued prime uh, partner with us in station, and half your time training is going to be in Russian. You need to know the language. So those are some of the things that I, I talk about. 